For those of you that are new here, my name is Don and this is Adventures This Way. Here at Adventures This Way, I'm all about riding, maintenance and repairs. And today we are going to do another video on how to remove the front differential. I've done it a couple times now and there's a lot of people that don't know how to do it. It's kind of tricky until you know how to do it. This is a video that will be helpful, I hope. For many people that have a player sportsman or a scrambler, this will apply to sportsmen uh, in the XP range, basically from 09 to 15, I think, uh, whenever they change the new body style, or the high lifter models, or it'll also apply to the uh, touring models. Let me just walk you through it. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's in the machine. Up here, you've got the power steering unit. So what you want to do is loosen your pinch bolt off, two bolts and a nut on the side, then you got two bolts that go down into the top of the differential mount. Take those out. You can get away without taking these tie rod ends off on the inner ones. They're, they're a pain to do. They really, really are. When it comes to the older version of the lower steering stem, which this is the newer replaced one, I had an older one, um, it didn't have a pinch bolt and it was just a really tight fit. And the problem is, is you get all the sand and gook and everything gets in here and it's almost like cement. So it doesn't want to move. And the other thing that you get right here, there's a little hole. That's a drain hole. My old one that was all packed in here before. Show you a close up. So there's, you can see a little notch down there. Uh, so all you, what you're trying to do then is that you take a pry bar, pry up on, underneath these to help push. Um, you may have to go around, you may need to go around on both sides. And you push up on this to pry this bearing loose. And you've got to move your winch out of the way so that you can get it forward and up. You've got to get it up and then it'll pop and go forward and this slides out. One thing you got to work with is with your drain here, there's a little notch in the skid plate. And you sort of got to lift the differential up out of this notch and then forward and then you can get it out. This is the right side of the machine. This is the left. It comes out the left. And you just take it a forward, up, pivot, and then you pivot the, the tail end around out through the left hand side of the machine. Just like that. This is your this is the EPS, the EPS electronic power steering unit. Now, the thing you gotta keep in mind is right about here is normally where the fuel tank would be, but it's removed for this application right now. It will make it a little bit easier to uh, to see what's going on. But what happens is these bolts here, they're covered up by the fuel tank. If you look at the service manual, it says in order to remove the front differential, you need to remove the fuel tank so that you can access the bolts to the EPS unit, unbolt it, and then you can lift everything up, the whole steering stem and everything, the whole thing, and then get the differential out. But that's not the case. There is a workaround, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it right now. This cover in here helps protect the fuel tank. So it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to do it, but you take this cover off, take all the push tabs out. You're also gonna to wanna to remove the uh, right foot well, okay? So the plastics are missing here, but anyways, you should be able to handle doing that. So take it out and you gotta finagle it around the brake there. So get rid of that. So this is what gives you access, uh, nice access to your, your, your front prop shaft. Normally the transmission would be sitting right about here and it'd be on this spline shaft. So what you need to do is you need to get this, I'm gonna have to spin it around the other way. Okay, and I hear people talking that they have problems getting this out. The very first time I had to get this out, it actually wasn't that bad, but you gotta use some kind of good stuff like a, uh, a penetrating stuff like a PB blaster or something like that and you just take your punch and punch it out with a good si you know what? a good size hammer really helps and what you gotta do is you gotta push it slide it forward in the shaft it's gonna come off the back here then once it's off the back then you can pull it back forward again and get it off this and you're good to go and then you can actually just take it right out but we'll just leave it there for now sorry if you're pulling the front differential you need to take the front axles out. Um, you do not need to disconnect the front hub and rotor from the axle nut and the axle. You can pull the whole thing out as an assembly. You just pop your uh, the ball joints one up, one down, and then you can grab this whole assembly, 
grab a hold of the axle and the other hand on the assembly and pop it right out. But uh, I just wanted to mention that, but I need to take this apart. So I'm just gonna wrap this off here real quick. Just like that. So much easier with the uh, air gun. So this should just pop right out of here. Nice. The, the other side came out real easy. Oh, look at that, the bottom is out already. Oh, why, are you, why are you hanging up? Why, why are you? So this one's giving me a little bit of trouble. Okay, push it down a little way. Oh, just gotta get the right angle, there. It's all about the angles, look at that. Look at how loose that is already. These are uh, adjustable. Look at that freaking, look at that clip off. Man, the freaking parts you buy, they're junk. Look at, okay, so that's gonna slide out just nice. Nicely greased. One ride on this, which was probably the last ride. Um, slide this up. This guy, I've just had this out. Oh, and oh, look at, now the problem I'm gonna have is the difference is loose, I already took the bottom bolts out. Probably should have waited, but it should pop right out. You gotta grease these boys. A lot of people have problems with these uh, getting these axles out. And there's two things you gotta check. One is you gotta spin it around because the opening on this circ clip needs to be up or down or to the side. I can't remember, but what it is, you gotta keep rotating it around so it has a better chance of uh, getting squished properly. If it doesn't come, if it doesn't squeeze, you ain't getting it out. Because in on the front differential here, this is a cup. This is not open. This is not open to the whole rest of the differential. So water and stuff gets in here over time and uh, it'll rust. So that's something you gotta, something on maintenance that you gotta do. And taking the stuff apart is not that hard. If you do it regularly and then when you tighten things back up, you torque them to the proper specs, they should be easy to come apart the next time. You know what I'm saying? One of the most trickiest parts of taking this differential out of here is is getting these uh, is getting at these uh, nuts and bolts and screws up here. Okay, so here's the key to the whole thing: is if you have a winch, with mo most people in North America do, uh, but maybe if you got a scrambler and you're just doing uh, you know you just do a lot of trail riding and ripping, like you don't need a winch um, because winches are quite heavy. Is you gotta unbolt the winch. There's four bolts that you gotta take out. So there's four bolts, two, uh, two on each side, uh, down here, and then up here. I just got one in there. You don't have to remove the whole winch. You just gotta pull it out so you got room to work with, okay? And then you just support it and just slide it forward. Boy, remember, she's gonna come out. It's heavy. Let's slide her forward and Bingo bango, there you go. Just wanna make sure we don't put any stress on the uh, wiring. But uh, that should do it. Now that we've got everything loose, we've got the axles out, we've got the four bolts out to hold the differential to the frame, it's loose. Build it. Okay, so we got a pry bar or two, okay? So if you get up underneath the pry thing, Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. We gotta disconnect this guy. Hold the phone. Disconnect our electricals. This guy. Disconnect the wiring harness. Cut our zip ties. Not the wire. Definitely don't want to cut the, cut the wire. This stuff's so expensive. The zip ties are cheap. Well, they're not that cheap, but basically they're cheap. But uh, cut the wire, oh God, that'd be a heartache. Okay, so that's free. Okay, that just won't 
back to where it went. So the first step is you got to get it up and you got to clear, you got to clear this part right here. So here's the thing. Everybody starts doing it and they go, oh my God, I've got to take these bolts out of this power steering unit, but you don't. All the dirt and dust and stuff, this kind of gets stuck like welded. So I already sprayed some lube in there, but maybe it's, uh, hasn't taken hold yet. Come on, fella. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I don't have the, I, I didn't take this bolt out yet. I loosened it. <laughs> That's too funny. That is too funny. <laughs> well, she ain't gonna come out. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Uh, I think I was gonna, I think my plan was to uh, show you guys how to take it out. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this part's a little tedious because there's not a lot of room to work. You just gotta take a box wrench and just tiny turns, tiny turns. Yeah. Do it. There we go. This is gonna make it a lot easier. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's funny. So once you, the tricky part's getting separated from this bearing here. Get the bearing. And then that's why you gotta take the winch out of the way so you can go forward. Once you get it loose, then you're good to go. Oh, we're pretty well there. Come on. There. Ha <laughs> ha. Lift it up on the bottom there, and it kind of wanted to slide sideways ahead and it's free. Um, and then, okay, I like it, there we go. I think we got some separation. There go. It's got some weight to it, but it's not super heavy. But, oh, I'm gonna slide my winch a little ahead a little bit more. Oh, there we go. So then you gotta slide it ahead. There, we're free. So then you slide it, and you gotta slide it. It only comes out one way. It's gotta come out to the right. Once you get it, you'll know how to do it. Then you twist, pull the tail end out, and she's out, boys. Take your vent tube off. Well, mine's disconnected, so. Uh, I forgot to, only thing I forgot was take the vent line off there. Probably can't see. Uh, but mine's already disconnected. And she's out. Voila. I hope it'll help you out, because I know I sure struggled the first time I had to do it. While you're waiting for the next one, why don't you check out one of these great ones right here. I'll see you in the next one. Once you've done it and you know how it comes out, it's much simpler. But do you really want to have to know how to remove your front differential from your machine? Not really.